welcome to Kareen and Company. Today we're going to do belly button therapy and we're going to talk about loneliness, sadness, being alone, feeling alone. What's important is we take our middle finger, we place it in our belly button. You can either do it on top of your clothing or directly onto the skin. My preference is directly onto the skin. The next thing I want you to do is make sure when you take your breath, let's all take a breath in. We're going to take it way down to our lower dantian or our reproductive area, we're gonna hold. And now you're gonna do a long, slow exhale. That exhale should be twice as long as the inhale. It shouldn't be like, it should be. You should actually feel your shoulders elevating, your chest going up, and a relaxation breath out. So do that for a couple moments while I talk to you. Loneliness, that's a heart energy. Sadness is a lung energy. Willingness or willpower is a kidney energy. And then we have the liver, having the strength, the courage, to move forward, to process information. And sometimes when we're down, maybe depressed, feeling lonely, the chi of our liver is not having a free flow throughout our whole body. So we're gonna clear those organs. And then the spleen. The spleen can cause these excessive thoughts of nobody cares, nobody loves me, I feel so alone. Even though I'm so kind and nice, people are so mean to me. And they can truly be that way because usually people who get really lonely, and it's not always 100%, but it's just from what I understand, is that we're such good, kind, loving souls, full of so much spirit and happiness, and we give and give and give, and then one day we get to an age where we just feel depleted. So let's go in and clear those energies. You know I love to clear them from your biological mother and your biological father. I also like to set the intention that as you're breathing in, you're holding and you're releasing, that we connect with your ancestors. I want to <clears throat> set the intention that we connect with one ten hundreds thousands of lifetimes, giving those who have already crossed over permission to let go of the feeling of loneliness, the beliefs, the perceptions and judgments. And then if we have brothers or sisters, or if we have offspring, we want to clear those as well. So through your breath, take a beautiful breath in. Let's set the intention that as we take that nice, long, deep breath in, and we hold, we hold, we hold in a really nice, long, slow exhale. We're gonna set the intention that as we acknowledge a couple programs running, maybe beliefs, perceptions, and judgments that we got genetically encoded from our mother and father, but as we breathe in, hold, and let go, we willingly let go of all thoughts, all feelings, and all emotions. So the first organ we're going to clear is our kidney organ, or G. Kidney is all about our willpower, the willpower to move on, the willpower to make decisions, so let's take a breath in and let's thank our kidney essence and our kidney jing for providing us with liveliness, energy, and let's just clear from your ancestors, your biological mother and father, any kidney jing or essence that is filled with loneliness. Take a breath in. Any belief systems that life does not support you, let's take a breath in. Our kidney gene or our kidney essence, we get 50% from our biological mother and our biological father when we're born. And then we get the rest of our kidney gene or essence from the foods we eat. So it's extremely important to clear blocks to eating good food healthy food. Let's go ahead and take a breath in and release. But it's actually not just the food we eat. It's the things we think about, the way we process information. So let's raise our kidney energy. Just go ahead and take a breath and I'll douse and see when we're ready to clear. Keep breathing in, holding and releasing. Let's bless our kidney energy, our kidney chi 
our kidney gene, our kidney essence, thanking our mother and father for the best that they could do. Let's clear any blocks to will willpower. Let's take a breath in and release. Let's clear it 100%, any blocks to willpower. Good. Now we're gonna go to our spleen energy, our yi. This is the organ that nourishes our body with blood. If we don't move around a lot, we become very stagnant and very stuck. So let's go ahead and take a breath in and ask that our spleen energy be enhanced from the top of our head to the bottom of our toes. Let's ask that any excess thinking be acknowledged, released, and clear. Take a breath. Let's ask that our spleen chi be enhanced and neutralized. If we find we overeat, overeating and overthinking can go hand in hand. Let's go ahead and clear that now. Take a breath in. We're gonna ask our spleen energy, raise the vibration, raise the vibration, raise the vibration. Go ahead and take another breath in. Thank you. Now we're going to clear our lung chi or the pole energy. Lung chi could be from childhood, all the sadness, all the heartache we may have experienced. Maybe we were disciplined mentally, emotionally. Maybe we had abuse mentally and emotionally. But let's go in and forgive the experiences and let's forgive our mothers and fathers because I believe they do the best they can. Let's go in and forgive their biological mothers and fathers. Let's go in and clear that lung chi energy. Take a breath in. Let's take another breath in of love and forgiveness. Hold, hold and release. Sometimes our lung energy is when we go behind closed doors. We don't have friends and family there. Maybe we spend nights crying, feeling sad, feeling lonely. Let's go in and take a beautiful breath in of divine love. And let's exhale divine forgiveness. Let's ask our lung chi, whether it's excess or deficient, Let's ask that it comes to a nice balance of homeostasis. Breathe in a few more times, hold and release. As you breathe in, breathe in love, self-love, self-value, self-appreciation. As you exhale, forgiveness of self, forgiveness of mother, forgiveness of father, forgiveness of life. Take a few more breaths. Let's ask our lung chi to be balanced. That's all the crying we've done behind closed doors to be acknowledged. The pain that gets locked in our lungs. Let's give our heart and our lungs permission as we exhale to let go of some of those old emotions that keep us trapped and stuck. Let's thank our organs for working with us, releasing and clearing. Now we're going to go into our liver chi, pun. This is, this is the energy that moves energy from the top to the bottom, inside and out. And sometimes when we get stuck or we feel lonely, a lot of times our whole body just repeats the stories. We, maybe we lay in bed, maybe we drink, maybe we drug, maybe we over sex. But let's ask our liver chi to go in and check the energy that you inherited from your mother, your father, their mothers and fathers, one, ten, hundreds, thousands of lifetimes. Let's clear blocks to working out, to dancing, to moving, to experiencing life. Let's let go of all that self-punishment, all those self-sabotaging thoughts and feelings. At any point, take a beautiful breath in of love. You're gonna hold and then exhale forgiveness. Take a few more breaths in. I really want you to hold and then a really long, slow exhale, giving your body permission from the top to the bottom, from the yin to the yang, the yang to the yin, inside to out, to really find within all the meridians and channels ways of letting go of all these sad feelings, these belief systems of loneliness. 
Let's go in and take a breath, a deep breath, and let's clear the belief that we're lonely. Let's clear those trapped emotions, those trapped thoughts, and those trapped energies as you just continually breathe, hold for three to five seconds, and release. And we want to go in and talk to our shin. Our heart, the way we feel, the way we process our lungs, the things we hold on to, can come up and disturb our shin or our brain or the way we process, the way we see, the way we feel. So we're going to ask for clarity. We're going to ask that if there's any mental, emotional, or psychological disharmonies running in the family line of your mother, your father, their mothers and fathers, let's go ahead and clear disharmonies of either bipolar, schizophrenia, excessive thinking, depression, unhappiness. Keep breathing in, releasing and letting go. Because honestly, we don't know what they suffered. It may not have been in your mom and dad's generation. It could have been 10, 20, 30, 50 lifetimes ago. But let's breathe in a lot of love, holding and releasing. We're gonna do this as a proxy. A proxy means, yes, our body, but also our mothers and our fathers, their mothers and fathers, any of our siblings and any of our offsprings. Let's just clear the disharmonies of emotional imbalances, mental imbalances. Just keep breathing and I'm gonna let you know when we're clear. Give yourself permission to let go of things that no longer support you in this lifetime. Do a lot of love and a lot of forgiveness. Sometimes forgiveness takes time, but the real gift of forgiveness is it allows you to move forward in life and not be trapped from the heart and the lungs and the mind of what happened, who did this to me, why did they do it. Every time that comes, I usually will put my hands on my chest and say, Thank you for reminding me, but I choose to let this thought go. It no longer supports me in the direction I'm going in this lifetime or my purpose or my path. And then I take a beautiful breath in of love and forgiveness. I hold it and then I release it. So I'm gonna to explain to you how this works. So this is our, our stomach, our small intestine, oh, I'm sorry. This is our heart and our small intestine. So this is the way we hold on to things and process things. And then we go over to where we nourish ourselves through the spleen and the stomach. And a lot of times that's what holds on to energies. And that's why we get bowel problems, gas problems, cramping, PMS. And then from there it goes to our lungs, our lungs and our large intestine. And then we hold on to that again in our abdominal area and then in our lungs. Some people just cry for no reason and they don't know why. Trust me, just breathe in and breathe out. Find the emotion you're feeling, name it, and just take that breath in, hold it, and let it go. And then from there, it goes to our kidneys and our bladder. So our kidneys is our willpower, our determination. But sometimes if we've had a rough life, sometimes it's hard for us to express. Sometimes it's hard to say what we need to say. Again, just acknowledge that some things in your life are challenging. Take that breath in, hold and release. And then from there, as this cycle goes, it goes up to your liver and your gallbladder. And, and sometimes, if we don't have the free flow of chi, if we're not feeling on our game, if we're feeling overwhelmed and frustrated and angry, this can get so knotted up and at times we just snap. We don't even know why we snap. Forgive yourself because you just really can't help it. Some of this stuff just happens. Acknowledge it. But your goal is to make sure it doesn't keep happening. So then the cycle goes back to the heart and the small intestine and the triple warmer and pericardium that wraps around your heart. But this is a cycle. If we're not flowing and doing what needs to be done, then sometimes the liver invades our stomach or spleen causing pain. Maybe in our kidney or our bladder, we get bladder infections, we can't express our truth. Then it comes up and disturbs our shin and our heart. 
and then we're holding on to things and then it comes back to our lungs and our large intestine these are disharmonies um, just acknowledge your disharmony don't shame yourself don't critique yourself don't criticize yourself just simply take that breath in take that breath way down to the lower dantian hold it hold it hold it and a slow exhale of love and forgiveness give yourself permission to heal be kind of gentle to yourself once you start moving and getting in the flow you're gonna feel it okay so if you have any questions please leave um, a little message below if you'd like me to create a video that would help you particularly you can find my phone number 520-327-4649 send me a text and just put a couple words that you would like me to help you with and I'll create a video and then I'll send you a link back be good to yourself learn to love yourself learn to value yourself and learn to appreciate yourself Nobody, we can't expect anyone to do that for us. We have to teach them 